Today, I'm gonna make a food um, that I had when I was in the Philippines um, called lechon. And uh, I, I have to make kind of a cheater's version of it because real lechon, what they do is they take a, uh, a suckling pig or a very young pig and then they um, gut it and then they fill the cavity with uh, uh, lemongrass, ginger, garlic, uh, things like this and they rub the inside of it down with, uh, with soy sauce and the salt and pepper and all this and then they take this pig and they put him on a spit and uh, roast him over um, a fire and uh, there's some garlic here. Um, I've got a Filipino friend that I was asking about you know how he would make it and stuff and he he basically told me how how he does it and uh, you know the problem right now is that I don't have a um, suckling pig and I can't get one all that easily right now but I'm hungry right now for lechon so what I did was I got a uh, a pork shoulder and I asked my friend like some things I could do to kind of make it you know have kind of the general idea it's not obviously not going to be authentic or anything but um, it should should give kind of the general idea of what what you'd get in the Philippines um, I had some in uh, Cebu City at a place called Zubuchan and it's uh, Z-U-B-U-C-H-O-N and it was just delicious and they served it with a, a sauce that I later found out is like a sweet and sour sauce it's got a bunch of things in it but one of the things it's got is like a, a ground up liver paste um, and uh, I've kind of made my own version um, this here and that to make that um, I, I left out the liver paste but basically it's got a third cup of rice wine vinegar soy sauce one third cup of uh, seven up a uh, little bit of salt not too much um, like a seriously like just a teaspoon or so of uh, soy sauce and then like a squirt or about a tablespoon thereabouts of ketchup and then uh, brown sugar to taste and you end up using a fair amount of brown sugar to balance out all that vinegar and you bring that to a boil uh, to melt the uh, brown sugar and once the brown sugar is melted you take two teaspoons of uh, of cornstarch and dissolve it in a little water and then spill that in there and continue to heat it until it's uh, nice and thick and so what you end up with is like a delicious uh, sweet and sour sauce that goes real well with a bunch of different things but one thing it definitely goes well with is lechon so just to talk briefly about the what makes the regular lechon so special and if you look at some photos of, of uh, real lechon you'll see it's a small pig and it's got this crispy skin and my friend says that the way they get that skin crispy is not just that they're roasting it over um, coals and wood, but they uh, they will baste it in a little Coca-Cola. And every every so often as you're turning it, you just brush on a little Coca-Cola, and then that will um, crisp up the skin and turn it kind of a reddish brown color. Uh, and that's. I mean it, it is fantastic the skin is like real crunchy and stuff and um, as you're turning it that that uh, the fat inside the skin cooks um, and becomes like a bacon grease type thing and so basically what you're getting is uh, a really tender pork that is like basted in this delicious like bacon fat and then wrapped in like crispy bacon um, you need a suckling pig for that as opposed to an adult pig because the skin on a suckling pig is like thinner and um, my friend says that it uh, it cooks up um, a lot you know a lot crispier and it has much better texture if you use uh, a young pig with thin skin. As, as the pigs get older their, their uh, skin thickens and coarsens and then you don't get quite the 
quite the experience. Um, obviously, there's no skin on this pork butt, and you know it's so I'm not going to get like you know the whole lechon experience, but I'm going to try to capture a little of the flavor. Um, he suggested what I'm doing right now, which is basically poke some holes in it and pack some uh, garlic and little sla slices of ginger down in them. And uh, that's kind of what I'm doing here. That should help uh, infuse some of the flavor that we're looking for into the meat. Um, and he says that when they cook the lechon, um, you know, they pack that cavity up with all kinds of good stuff and then that, that flavor leaches into the meat. So that's kind of what I'm trying to duplicate here. The one thing I couldn't figure out how to do was how to do the same thing and get the lemongrass flavor in there. Um, so I'm just going to have to wait till spring till we get a suckling pig. Uh, and when that happens, I'll actually show a video of the real lechon and not the cheaters lechon. This is kind of a cheater version. So uh, I'm just going to finish uh, packing a few more of these holes with uh, garlic and ginger and I'll show you the next step. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to you know pour a little soy sauce over this and uh, kind of rub it in here um, and, and just cover this sucker real well. Um, Oh, it, you know, it'll just give it a little bit of that delicious Asian succulent flavor. Next thing to do is I'm just going to, you know, sprinkle a little salt and pepper on. Um, you know, pretty generous amount of salt. And I'm, I'm kind of a fan of black pepper, so I'm going to put a fair amount of that on as well. And I'll do this to both sides. So now I've had uh, my smoker going for a while. And my bacon, which is right here, is at the proper internal temperature. I measured it, it's at 150. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bacon off and we'll hang that in the basement and it will start uh, curing. And here I have my pork. Before I put it on the smoker, I'm gonna go ahead and baste some Coca-Cola on the side that I'm gonna put down. And uh, you have to baste it kind of frequently. I'm told, so this is just the first one. Be generous with it, no need to skimp. Now I'm going to take it and put it on my smoker here. I might even move it over to the other side, how about that? I always try to make good use of my smoker when I have it fired up. Those are some Korean barbecue style uh, spare ribs. I'm just going to go ahead and baste this with a little Coca-Cola. and. Uh, We'll check it, uh, you know, every half hour or so, baste it some more, and and I'll check in when it's done. So this is the finished product, you know, nice brown outside, um, really tender. You could you press that and it wants to fall apart inside. Um, and what I saw was that they would take one of these. It's like a beef splitter, only porkier, uh, and they they were making these out of leaf springs. And they'd take this and they'd have their suckling pig and they'd just whack, whack, and they'd just section it and then cut it into big chunks like this. So there you have it.